traders, FS Pep Collector here. Today is Wednesday, October 16th, and this is my recap of the top field videos of the day. And the US dollar came in number one today, so we're going to do a quick recap on the one hour time frame. If you didn't see my full top down analysis on the euro dollar from this morning, make sure you check out the video linked at the end of this video over here. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpepcollector.com, if you would like to get access to my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom and my 34 video trading course all included for only $30 per month. So in a ways, man, trend following has definitely been the way to go on the dollar pairs. I mean, it's kind of a slow drift down, but man, there has been all kinds of one, two, three way pullbacks, one, two, three way pullbacks, one, two, three way pullbacks, one, two, three way pullbacks. It's just completely, completely easy, easy, easy going. Now, I left my Fibonacci retracement on here because I wanted to show you that this was a one, two, three way pullback, probably better seen on like the 30 minute time frame, almost perfectly to the 61.8 and with an engulfing move to the downside. Extremely, extremely nice entry to go short. Now, the 178.6 is my next area of interest, right around the 1.0857 area. Maybe we'll get a bounce there, maybe not, until we get a break of Stratzer on probably like the four to eight hour time frame, which is for me is way up here. I am definitely still only looking for sorts, and I'm only looking to go sort on three wave pullbacks. So anyways, we have a few things to keep an eye on uh, over the next 24 hours. We got uh, President Lagarde of the European Central Bank talking this evening in actually a little while. We also have some Aussie news this evening, unemployment rate, unemployment chains. We also have um, interest rate tomorrow for the year, which they are planning on lowering 25 basis points. Finally, some U.S. dollar news. We got retail sales and unemployment claims tomorrow. And the Central Bank press conference is definitely something to keep an eye on also. So, so, yeah, definitely some dollar news tomorrow. First real decent dollar news so far this week. Anyways, don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.